Hey everybody, Clay with uh, Thor Hammers, Eaglewood here. Sorry about this video, I gotta shrink down because I have my camera is the only thing I got with me. But anyway, I am doing a new way that I'm doing my dreads now. Um, I have a new mold that I'm making for them. And I tried this out and it actually works pretty doggone good. So I'm going to walk you through it. Um, this is inch and a half PVC. Okay, and I got a dread in there and I want to show you how I'm taking it out because I'm doing something different. So for the bottom of it, what I do is I just have a cap on the bottom of it. Then I take the inch and a half connectors that you have and you simply slide them onto this thing so that holds them together. So I've got, you can see I've got four of them on here. So I just slide the connectors off. So what I do is after you pour the mold, you slice you do a witness line and then you slice it in half okay so now what you've got is you've got two halves here like that and then you've got your rubber your silicone rubber that's inside there so now there's no seam in this at all there's no cut to get this thing out of there at all what I've done is I've kind of marked right here where the bottom of the dread is and where it comes out so then what I do is I've actually taken one of those little needles, right, for filling up your basketballs and stuff, and I take it and I actually slide it right down in there like that. Okay? So then what I do is I take my airline and I simply take it and put it on there like this and apply air to it so what it does is it fills up the whole thing with air so now the dread simply of course it doesn't work this time now when I'm trying to do it for everybody but Okay, I got it in there too far. Let me give it a second here. I pushed it in too far. So. There it goes. So it fills up the entire thing with air and it releases the suction on it. So now all I do is pull it out. Normally I keep air on it, but now it comes out and I have a full dread with no seam lines whatsoever. There's no seam lines on that at all. Because what I've done is just done this. You put the air in there. Basically what it does, what the air does is it breaks the suction on the silicone. So now you've got a full blown free no flashing, no nothing, dread. Okay, now, and then just to put it back together again, what you do, you do just simply take it and you stick it back in. And what's nice doing it this way is there's a kind of a witness mark on the end of it. So now you just stick it back in there like that. And you don't have to worry about lining it up to where the seam is on it. You just simply pop this back on there like that. Take your rings, they slide back down on there in various spots. And they don't fit really, really tight, and they don't have to. And you put it back in, and now you're ready. You just pour your next one, and you're good to go. And you end up with seam free dreads. Now, I made the mistake of trying on the next set, is I split the pipes first. And then I hung the, I got a resin dread that I hung inside there, and then I poured the silicone in. Well, the seal on the outside here was pretty tight. It wasn't tight enough, so I lost basically 2,000 grams of Mold Max silicone. Well, I probably didn't lose all of it, but I lost most of it because it leaked out the side. So what I recommend doing is um, pouring the mold. Don't even cut the... Don't even cut the PVC, uh, pour the mold, and then just take 
little angle grinder like this with a disc on it and then you just go along and I just drew a line down there and then you just go along and cut it like this and you just cut to where you see the rubber you know you're not going to cut through the rubber or anything but you just cut until you see the rubber and do that on both sides then split your mold open then that way you don't have to worry about leaking any silicone the way I did I thought I was going to try to shortcut it and cut this first with my bandsaw which is what I did so I got a few of them cut already so what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll tape up those joints with just some masking tape or some Gorilla Tape, something like that. Pour the silicone, and then they're going to be split, and I'll be good to go. So, anyway, that's it. That's a new great way to do dreads, where you have no seam whatsoever. No seam line, no flashing to take care of, no nothing. The only thing you have to worry about is when you hit that suction on there, you make sure it all breaks loose because if you pull it out, then you may end up break the tip off if the suction isn't broke loose all the way. But once it breaks loose, it breaks the whole thing loose and you just simply pull it out. You need to put your release agent in the silicone the first couple times you do it and then about every 10 dreads, something like that, then you need to do it again. So anyway, that's my tip and trick for the day. So, blessings, guys. All right, take it easy. Remember, check out more videos on my YouTube channel, Eaglewood TC. Go to my website, www.thorhammers.com, and there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. So, if you want to get added to my list, I've got constant contact going on, showing you specials I have. So, if you want to get added to that, just shoot me an email, and I'll add you to the list. All right? Take it easy. Blessings.